Some kids spent their Saturday back in the classroom, but learning how to make different types of kites before taking them for a test run at the Lloydminster Cultural and Science Center. They spent the morning learning about the different types of kites and then they got to work on making their own using garbage bags and other accessible materials. They can build a kite by just using the things in their own home. It's not just learning how to build a kite that instructor John Ball Lim hopes the kids will take away from their lesson, but rather something that has been lost in this digital Somehow age. Somehow kids nowadays, they lose this, this, this talent or this... Um, uh, the benefit of making their own their own things or games or toys and enjoying it. And they're so busy with their electronic gadget that they lose track of creativity. After crafting their kites, the kids got to run through the winds, hoping their creations take flight. It's been an unusual spring season for farmers to say the least, with snowing melting slowly and the rain falling increasing in amounts. But the farmers in the area remain optimistic for the season and the future seasons thanks to an increase in youth. Josh Ryan has more. Wet conditions haven't made things any easier on farmers in the area, but there is finally progress. Saskatchewan's weekly crop report has the northwest region at 97% seeded. The year has come along, a lot of people are getting their crops off, and so it's about a week, two weeks behind normal schedule. In order to battle extreme conditions, farmers have had to turn to technological innovation. Their seeding technique has changed over the last 20 years with a direct seeding mechanism and different tractors, a lot of going to those quad track tractors now so they can pull bigger equipment and don't get stuck as much. And bigger machinery, everything, yeah. Things are going a lot faster, it seems like, yeah. Difficulties have arised as well, such as inflation. When I can remember when I was younger, they would get a tractor for thirty, forty thousand dollars Now they're three or 400000 or plus 800000 some of the big ones, so. A reassurance for farmers, though, is the next generation. A 2016 census revealed that while there are less farmers than there were five years ago, the number of farmers under 35 has dramatically increased. For a long time, we had lots of... I guess the guys that are retiring now, and you're really starting to see more younger folks taking over, whether it's the previous agent's kids or just new people with, you know, get up and go and trying to make the cooperative better. And between the developments at Lakeland College and people looking to continue their family business, the future looks bright. They all come from good backgrounds typically, right? So whether they were farm kids growing up or small town people, they're, they're good, good people to deal with for sure. Yeah, and there's a few our way starting up, so it's good. Josh Ryan? New Cap News.